Any questions from the ladies' side? Yes, as women, what is our role in preparing the reappearance for our imam? Um, as a mother, we bring up our kids in a good way. What is our wider role? Yeah, so obviously as a mother or as a father, we know one of our critical role is the bringing of our children to instill those values. But on a general level, there are three ways of preparing for the reappearance. This is not exclusive. There are so many things. But these three, I found them to be under all other stuff that the scholars mentioned. And these are based on the traditions of Adel Bayt. Number one is intidharu aqaidi, theological intidhar. What is theological intidhar? Increase your understanding of Mahdi, knowledge about Mahdi. You know, when I come and stand here and I ask you questions, when was Imam Mahdi born? This simple question. I don't want somebody to take minutes to tell me. How many years was the minor occultation? I want quick answer. That will tell me people, man, they don't, they've not memorized only Shakespeare's and Rumi quotes, but they also know about the Imam of their time, isn't it? So, in theological intivar whereby I increase my aqidah, my faith, my iman in Ahlul Bayt alayhi musalla. I know my Mahdi. Wherever I go, I can speak confidently about my Imam. That's number one. So keep reading. Fill in that your mini library in the house with the books about Imam Muhammad. That's number one. Or have a small group. This group is all to read about Imam Mahdi. Why not? He's the Imam of our time. We need to color our house, our mosques with the colors of Imam Muhammad. That's number one. Number two, Intidharu fikri. First theological, second intellectual. Again, not just increasing my aqidah, I need to read more about Islam. I need to go into Quran. I'll ask you a question. What last did you read tafsir of Quran? How many times in a year do you go through tafsir Quran? I mentioned earlier on, Islam is boring without reading. So we've got intidharu fikri, intellectual. I need to increase my knowledge of Islam. I need to increase my... And that is also intidhar. And the last one, intidhar suluqi. Behavioral intidhar. Your akhlaq, your behavior. Because when you are out there, you're not representing yourself, you're representing the madhab of Ahl al So the akhlaq you portray there is crucial. Mahdi is proud of you if you portray good akhlaq there. And if you show the other akhlaq, the bad akhlaq, obviously Mahdi... It's not happy, and you've got that beautiful tradition from Imam Hassan al-Askari, and you have also from Imam Jafar, isn't it? That our Shias, when they go somewhere, I'm just paraphrasing, they become the highlight of wherever they are. You are the highlight. So when you go to school, university, you become the highlight. Even in your performance, your academic performance becomes the highlight. In your akhlaq, become the highlight. Imam said, portray such an akhlaq that people will ask, who is he? Where he's coming from? Imam says, when the answer is, he's a Shia of Ahl al-Bayt, that makes me happy. But Imam said, when, the, uh, when he portrays bad akhlaq and the answer comes, is Shia, that makes me sad. And that is why Imam al-Baqir mentioned during his time. He said, go around. If you come across Shi'i youth who is not disciplined about his religion, bring that youth to me. I, Bakr, will discipline him. So therefore, these are intidhar, i'tiqadi, fikri, and saluki. Mm -hmm.